Yo yo, what is up gamers? Um, we're gonna be getting right back into it with uh, good old Shrig Mail the Shield Knight. And uh, let's see. <clears throat> so the last episode was kind of just kind of just me getting <laughs> the build working. I probably could have just done that on my own, but I half wanted to have it there so people, whoever's crazy enough to try and do what I did and replicate that can do it. Um, there were a few things I left out, so like full details will come later when the full everything's released. Like I killed a few bosses and whatnot uh, to get some extra souls, which means the first area is kind of completely finished. The forest fallen giants I kind of just did without showing. Um, I don't think I'll do every boss, so I'll probably skip over Hyde's Tower because it has a optional boss in it. And, um, yeah, I think I'll just go on the normal track right now and just go to the No Man's Wharf, which I kind of skipped through thinking about. So I'll actually go back here to get back to the wharf because there's an item or two I want to get. And, uh, those will help out a lot since they're related to Estus stuff. And I, I know I jokingly said that Estus won't matter to us but it it definitely will this is this is a dark souls game healing matters you know staying alive is important and all that jazz so yeah i'm gonna grab that stuff and you know this can be our, our first look at the silly business that is this build if i can actually pull off a uh oh god i queued up an attack <laughs> i want to do a jumping attack but that, that, that was a good showcase too <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, these uh, these enemies are weak to strike damage, and um, specifically the giant great short great sword great sword guys like that have um, the least health of all those big knights. Oh my god, is it forward and then there we go. Yeah, so that's the damage we can expect. Very cool, very awesome. I still want to get a keybind going to trigger that for me. How I'm going to do that? Uh, I think I could do it pretty easily. Actually, I could do that very easily. Um, I just need to get a script running and have it track when I click a button, it clicks two buttons for me. Because I I hate trying to do the jumping attack. I'm so bad at it. It's just not my forte. Um, but I guess I should go over the Sublime Bone Dust, make Estus heal more. So it's a very good thing to have. Uh, luckily, I already went through this area earlier. And by went through this area, I mean opened the way to the boss. So I can literally just sprint to the boss, which is pretty chill. The um, there's a drawbridge. I shouldn't say drawbridge, but there's a bridge standing upright that you can kick down, which I did. I kicked it down, and uh, it's that I just ran across, and that was the bridge. And man, it it is a shortcut that's not very obvious, but it saves so much time if you uh, do get it down and you do know about it. Because this area, it's not like hard to run through this area. It's just more tedious because it's like another. A minute and a half or two minutes of just running through an area to get to one boss. Which actually I just realized I should um Ring of Blades. Very cool thing about Dark Souls 2 is there's an uh item called the Ring of Blades, which goes all the way up to a plus two version. And it increases your physical damage. So there's like no reason not to use it. Oh god, that's so gross. And then I can just guard everything. <laughs> it's so gross. Yeah, my biggest enemy right now is just failing my jumping attack. That's my that's my biggest threat. <sighs> Dubious little creature up to no good. And then I just close the distance. <sighs> Dude. This has to be illegal in like some states. Like, this damage output is so disgusting. Yeah, that's nice. Really trying to get your uh, your hold on me, aren't you? Oh wait, that missed? What the hell? Oh my god, he's taking like no damage. Oh, except... Okay. Why is it taking like no damage? Is it guarding or something? I know it can guard. I don't think it is though. There we go. That was weird. That first attack missed and then just took no damage on the other hit I did. But, as you can see, um, <laughs> I'm not weak in the slightest. My biggest weakness is not being able to attack quickly. Which is not really a big weakness at all. So, I'm a bit of a force to be reckoned with. 
Uh, I haven't really thought of any other things to improve my output, but I'll, I'll probably come up with something eventually. Like, I did think about getting enough intelligence to uh, apply magic shield to this. It doesn't really do much other than make me block easier. And, like, the shield won't do more damage, I don't think. It'll, it'll literally just block better, which is not very, like, valuable to me at all. This thing already blocks so well. But it, it'd be funny. And that's really what matters here, isn't it? But I will say there is a nice trade-off where I feel like in this game you level up the fastest and the easiest out of like any Souls game. So at the very least you have that going for you. Oh my god, I can't double attack enemies. They just they attack faster than I do sometimes. But yeah, as you can see, I am a force to be reckoned with. I really should be jump attacking. Let me uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, let's get me in here. Youch. I'm a force to be reckoned with until I'm not. Holy moly. There we go. So what's great about that too is it like just prones enemies. So they really can't retaliate either. That's what makes the jumping attack even better. Like it's already good enough as the as it makes the weapon attack so fast. But the fact that it just makes enemies lay flat and unable to attack back. So good. Actually so good. Even better on players, because it sends them into a panicked state where they're like, Oh god, I need to like, hit you. Oh, you're dead now. <laughs> god, this game is like... <laughs> this game is a trip. <laughs> just, just being able to do what I'm doing right now feels so wrong. Here's another Fragrant Branch, right, by the way. And also the uh, Covetous Serpent Ring plus one. Ow. Yeah, that's why I need him to like finish his combos before I attack. I also need to get the jump attack out. God, I forgot his shield hits. Uh, reduce my stamina a crap ton. Can you give me a good opening, buddy? Whoa. Buckaroo, calm down. Okay, there we go. And then, are you gonna shield bash me? No, you're gonna, you're gonna try and grab me. <laughs> I can't do it, man. Ow. That hurt. Uh-oh. <sighs> okay, I am... I'm making a bind right now. This is so maddening. I, I just can't make the jump attacks work, and they're, like, integral to my gameplay. Alrighty. Welcome back. After a lot of work and deliberation, I, uh... I got it figured out, I think, and uh, I'm happy that it, it kind of works. The only weird thing is I had to rebind my uh, controller. I had to rebind one of the buttons to literally left mouse click. I mean, I probably could have rebounded into something else, but I just figured that it just makes the most sense. Um, but yeah, now <laughs> now it works. The, the whole concept is just that like when the left mouse button is pressed, um, it presses W and uh, the attack button at the same time, which are the buttons necessary to do this. Which, oh man, that's going to make my life so much easier. Okay, let's actually dodge that. Uh, I did notice it doesn't seem to 100% work, I don't think. But it works more often than not, and that's good enough for me. Uh, let's see here. Oh, that actually hits me. I think I had to roll. But that's fine. It's just we adjust for that. I'm just happy to actually have like a working script for this. I think that's really cool, and it's gonna make my life just so much easier. The only thing I'm gonna need to make sure of is I think I have to like make sure I return myself to neutral before I do it. I mean, like, because it you can't be holding forward while you uh, jumping attack like. The whole point of jumping attacks and shield break attacks is that you you press forward at like the exact moment you want to make the attack happen, which is why I think I need to stay like have a, a neutral movement before I do it, which isn't a big deal. It's totally fine. Oh god, though, like the things you can do to one enemy, just just gross. It's so nasty, and I am so here for it. Okay, let's just let's just go before they like aggro for some reason. Uh, the ruined sentinels. Oh Jesus! 
Oh, I actually did that input like on my own, I think. It's funny. I mean, I still press the button for it because I kind of have to, but... Wow, that is just so much damage, dude. That is insanity! And the fact that I can like guard break these guys in like two hits is absurd. Uh oh. I was trying to block, I didn't. I definitely have that problem a lot, but that's fine. <gasps> Dude, one of them's already dead. That's insane. Yeah, and then this one jumps up. So either you stand behind it or you just get ready to roll. Um, there we go. Because they jump up with an attack. Um, yeah, just absolute devastation right now. I'm not going to follow it up because I don't have stamina. The other one might jump up soon, which is a problem. Oh, they just did. In that case, I'm just gonna drop down. Uh-oh. I was not in neutral. Uh, that's fine. That's not fine! Uh, they can throw their shield, and I'm really scared of that, but we're good. Apparently they can do that, too. I don't think I've seen that one before. I'm just gonna hold off, because if I can kill this one... Okay, that is so weird. I've like never seen that attack before. Oh my god, that's so bad. <laughs> my... <laughs> the, the jumping attack's just not coming out, so... I'm getting so caught out. But luckily, I can just press the block button. And as you have kind of noticed, I'm a bit of an un impenetrable fortress. You can try and hurt me, but I just, I'm just going to beat the shit out of you. <laughs> oh god. It's so ridiculous. It is so ridiculous. I hope I give other people the power to be a shield knight as well. The, the run up to it kind of sucks balls, but hopefully I can manage just fine. Yeah, there's an enemy around the corner right here, by the way. So we're just gonna, like... Try and kill him. There we go. And then this guy is gonna try and stop us. And then, as you might guess, he's not gonna succeed. And then there's two more enemies in here. Uh, I think both use crossbows. Yep, both use crossbows. So we'll let him shoot. And then... Just smash this guy. Luckily, crossbows don't really do much damage. They're more annoying than anything. But, you know, taking unnecessary damage is still taking damage. And then you just go down the elevator, and we are on our way to our first big boss. I say that like we haven't killed some bosses. Like, most bosses in this game are definitely threatening. But, this is the first of like the big story bosses. There's, uh, like four... Uh, what? I don't even know what they're called. Are they called? I don't think they're called Great Ones. I think that's what they're called in Dark Souls 1. Um. <laughs> oh god, that's so stupid. Yeah, so there's just a sentry there, by the way, as you may have noticed. And also that key we picked up earlier, the Bastille key, is used here. Which helps avoid um, the shenanigans of being down there against the sentry man. And yeah, so here's the first big boss. It's the... Lost Center? I, forget, I always forget if it's the last center or the Lost Center. We'll, we'll, we'll remember in a second. And an interesting little gimmick about the fight. There are um, two doors on each side. And with the doors, there is a line of oil. Which you can... Oh, and my torch ran out. You can light if you had a torch, but my torch... My torch don't work like it used to. Uh, and it would light the room up, but we're just gonna have to do a blind fight. I don't like this room being dark. Uh, I'm very scared of the dark. Not really, but I, I just... Especially for you guys, I mean, I guess I can just try and edit the brightness or something if it's that bad. But... Oh yeah, I forgot I actually capped out the brightness of the game. But yeah, this this room is just like pitch black. The cutscene's kind of cool. I, I, I'll normally skip it, but you know, just for you guys, I'll, I'll try and show boss cutscenes. Yeah, an interesting thing is the worm that went into its eye just now. I believe 
people have said the Dark Souls 1 Bed of Chaos Worm, because the Bed of Chaos is like a tiny worm that controls a giant monster. Yeah, this is what I mean though, the room's just black. Um, just dark. Oh my gosh. I thought I was going to do bad damage, but I'm being very proven wrong right now. Oof, ouch. Oh gosh, I thought they were about to do another attack. Oh, that's right. I think the darkness actually makes it so there's a limit to your lock on distance. Which is a, a cool detail, I guess. I don't appreciate it though. Surprise, surprise. Um, oh my god, I am trying my darndest to not just get mauled right now. It doesn't help that they just like jump around. Uh oh. Uh oh. It does not help at all that they just like jump around every time. Um, they hit me. Uh, oh, that's so lame. I was stuck in like shield stun and my heal wasn't coming out or something. I don't know. The heal felt like it was taking really long. I almost might need to level adaptability just so I can heal quickly because I will say the heal feels awful right now. Okay, I'm going to go grab my souls real quick. Since I had a fair bit for this level, that's like five level ups or so. Ow. I can retaliate too, bucko. Okay, so it seems like guarding is not instant, because I keep trying to block like right as I get hit. It seems like that is not something I should do. Ooh, that was close. I was about to, um, uh, or like I, I blocked like last second. Wow. I can't believe that didn't. Uh, Cool. Let me just follow that up. <laughs> God, this is so much just waiting for like the proper attack to follow up on. That was not the proper attack to follow up on. Oof, I'm so glad I double chugged because I thought the damage would come out too soon. And I'm glad I had the smarts to do that. Holy moly. <laughs> this is sketch, man. Like, being shield man's hilarious, but damn. If it is not kind of sketchy sometimes. Are they blocking? Oh, it's the lost center. Okay, we can confirm that, boys. I think the boss just blocked. I don't I don't feel like I've ever seen this boss block in my life. There we go. Got the stagger. That would be a nice damage opening if I was like any actual weapon. Saying that like I'm not a real weapon. Come on. We all know this is the only acceptable weapon in the game. Come on, come on, yeah. Come on. You know you want to hit me. Little do they know, I'm, I'm ready to defend from all angles. Oh, we're doing this again? Okay, there you go. And just like that, light work. And that is our first big boss dead. About 70k souls, pretty good. Um... And then you go down here, there's a chest. I think he has a fragrant branch of yore. And something else. Elizabeth Mushroom. Elizabeth Mushroom is just a really long regen effect. Pretty good one too. And then so here's a broken. It's called, yeah, Primal Bonfire. It's a broken bonfire. And uh, this takes you right back to Majula, which is really nice. Because, you know, obviously you'll probably want to just level up after you defeated a big boss like that and got all their souls. And then it's also probably where... Uh, uh, I'll be stopping for now. So yeah, we'll level up real quick. What do I want though? Maybe some adaptability wouldn't be such a bad idea. Um, hmm. I think I can hold off for a little bit. I don't really want to do it quite yet. I'll get vitality to 20 and then maybe more endurance. Eh, we'll do more strength. I could definitely use more strength. If I can one hand the shield, that'd be really funny. God, I'm already level 73. That's crazy. Just want to make sure there's nothing I'm missing right now. Doesn't look like it. That's good. So I think next, um, I might. I don't know what path I'll go. Let me see what I have available to me. Uh, I could do the gutter path, because literally right after this bonfire, the hidden chamber, there's a boss, or like one of the great ones. Um, I think I'll save that one for later. I usually do that like near the end. I'm not a huge fan of that one. 
Um, but yeah, that was good. This build's already proving to be a lot better than I remember it being. I, um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.